Also, if I wanted to uh, maybe add a little slant to it, maybe, I don't know, do something completely lazy, um, I'm going to select both sides the surface. I'm going to go into the side view. I'm going to press E to go into node view and move both of these down to create kind of like a, a back slant. Going to do that with this as well. Just kind of move that down. There. And that created kind of a back slant sort of a sort of effect on the on our object. Now now I'm going to select both of these, right click, I'm going to make them template brushes. Oh, actually, um, you have to select these separately. Um, if you make a mistake, you can select an uh, select a template uh, object and go right-click and ungroup entities. Since this is going to be a double door, I have to select only one at a time. Right-click, make it a template brush. Select the other one, make it a template brush, and then now I can select both and uh, and go into things and templates by pressing N and assign a tracker thing to them. And it says it's going to be assigned to more than one template. So press yes. So now what we're going to do is uh, I only need to select one side of the door and I'm going to assign a, a double door um, pivot door. It's going to be a pivoter so let's see if we can find that script past all of these door pivot switch pivot no double door pivot double pivot door this is what we want double pivot door so I'm going to assign this and go apply oops go apply and now what we need to do is we need to create frames for these doors. Um, so I'm going to go into top view and to make sure that these doors um, I'm going to make it where they flip outwards. These doors are going to they're going to they're going to pivot outwards and they're going to pivot along uh, they're going to pivot along here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First you click you click on the template now you press shift K when you press shift K you create a path point and when you move this path point around it, it it shows that it's a path corner and it's attached to this template what you do is you move it to the corner you move it to the corner here where you want it to to pivot off of and you also you also need to you also need to move its uh, its yaw orientation and I'm going to move it by 90 degrees so what it's going to do is it's going to go from this corner it's going to pivot 90 degrees and it's going to stop right there and I need to make I need to make a path corner for both of those so select the template press press shift K creates a path point notice that it, if you, you know you've done it right when you see this box and it's it has an it has an arrow a line attached to the center of the template so we're, we're going to move this up here and I'm going to move this yaw this way notice that when I'm moving this in a negative you see let me let me focus in here so you can see better notice when I press the arrows up and down it's going this way and that's this is the direction that it's going to move it needs to move on the negative axis because it's on the other side so this is going to be negative 90 degrees and this other one here so I'm going to I press escape to deselect that other path corner I'm going to shift shift select this one this is 90 degrees now notice that when I move this around it's moving the other way this is that this is how the door is going to move 
this is how the door is going to move. If I set it to 105 degrees, the door is going to stop down here. It's going to uh, it's going to be facing that direction when it finally stops. But I want to I want to have a perfect 90 degree angle. Actually, I can create inconsistency. I can have this uh, open uh, a little more than the other one. The other one opens 90 degrees. This uh, this side of the door opens at uh, 105 degrees on the yaw. So you can do that. You can get away with uh, the. Uh, you can get away with changing the angles of its pivot to any way that you desire, as long as it goes into the corner. So it's going to be pivoting off of this this corner. So the door is going to sl it's going to pivot from that position. So now what we do is we need to select the door that we assigned the script to. We need to select that template. Now we press Shift C. And notice we have three parameters in this script. To assign, the, to, to let this door know what its other half is, we need, to, we need to connect it to this other object. And to do that, we use this codex linker here. First we select this here. We click on this, this, uh, this value. And then we immediately, with shift, shift left click on the object we want to connect this object to. Now when we look at this uh, this codex linker we, we notice there's a codex in there now so from here we can press apply and now when you see in the camera angle what you should see here is is a a, a purple line indicating that uh, this door is linked with this other door now. So now um, the double door should, when you click one or the other, both will pop, both will pop open simultaneously. And that's it. that's how a double door works. So let's uh, we can also uh, we can also set the speed of the door if we wanted to go quickly. Um, I can reduce that to one second, making it to where it will take only a second for it to pop open so that it lowering this number um, increases the speed at which the door will open if we increase this number it'll decrease the speed at which the door will pivot